And even if he is, he could watch somebody. Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't know. That's why I think maybe he was watching you too much. If if she if she's like, oh, he probably clicked the link in my bio. Yeah. Oh. There's way more people than other than myself out there that you know men look at. It just so happened that I'm on a platform. Like, it's yeah. Probably- I don't know. Backpage is still a thing, but there used to be women on Backpage that y'all don't even know. It's just oh. I'm a I'm just a popular thought. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So it's oh. like, I don't oh know. man, oh man, not popular. She said popular thought. I love how real the the uh, millennial girls are. You no, you're not a millennial. Are you millennial? No, you Generation Z. I'm a '96, born '96. Ah, uh, so you kind of borderline Gen Z, millennial, same thing. So. Yeah, but real quick, let me do a quick introduction. So this is Ambor. We did a phenomenal, I'm talking about eyes wide open interview with you about a week and a half ago. I did not expect it to to go the way that it did. You came in with your hard hat on and you left like, what the fuck just happened? (laughs) That's how I started on baddies. Went really? Uh, and left with a, uh. but no. Let me ask you a question. So we did the interview. Of course, they're going to be able to watch the interview here in 30 minutes on YouTube. We already have the live stream up. So everybody that's in here, they can head on over to YouTube at 7 p.m. That's when the interview is going to start. I told them you are the first person that I've ever featured that's like, you know, a public figure that's on happy hour because you were just so open about everything. You talked about your childhood. You talked about witnessing your boyfriend die in front of you. Mm-hmm. Like, while you're intimate with him, you know, you, you talked about just your emotions, how it is day to day, you know, being in relationships with men, be, you know what I'm saying, having friendships with women, um, the relationship with your mom, your dad. I mean, you really opened yourself up. And I thought that, it's 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 imperative that viewers hear this side because they always see the photos, they see the content, but it's rare that a person in your position will be that open. I mean, and honestly, what's crazy is I know I've talked to a lot of people off of social media, like behind closed doors. A lot of people are, they can relate. The difference between me and a lot of people is that I don't care to put it on camera. Like, and what's crazy is I'm not a thought in real life. Like, I don't want to sit my ass down and, you know, I know how to work. I, I you know, What y'all see on social media is just y'all, like, I'd be like this majority of the time, but y'all see me half booty ass naked on Instagram. Like, I'll be out in public and people are like, you don't act that way on social media. I'm like, yeah, social media. Social media isn't real life. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of people portray this image of, oh, you don't look like you make 300000 a month. Yeah, I have a team to pay. Yeah, I have assets that I have to keep investing money into. Like, it's, people just don't, people don't think. It's like, oh, you don't, you don't do this. Well, where's this? Where's that? And I'm like, it's making me money. That's where it is. So, um, I don't know. People just have this facade of me of, like, being certain way or being this this person I'm like I'm not that I'm a human being just like everybody else I bleed just like y'all bleed I cry too I have feelings um and I honestly I just don't care what the public says about me so why not okay so that was the thing like I think when I went to TikTok and we posted the clip on TikTok it's like got 200,000 views just a promo on TikTok alone and 100,000 on Instagram and the whole thing was about your pay. 300,000, 300,000, 300,000. No way, no way, no way. Did you did you happen to look at some of the comments? I don't even read the comments. That's good. I used to, I used to but it's like, what, what y'all want to do? Post some pictures? I could post what I make all day. Oh. I could post, I could, I could post like what I paid my team. People saw, like people t- people are gonna talk regardless. People gonna yeah. talk about you or your situation regardless, whether yeah. they know if you paid her or not. Like people are gonna talk. I told them I ain't got it. You got it, but I ain't got it. 
I'm a professional clout chaser. So if whatever I put out there, they're going to eat it up. Y'all going to say whether it's good or bad. Right, like right now I'm reading, is she a transgender? I'm not even going to answer. Keep asking that question. Go look on my page. Go give me more views. Every view, every like that I get on my, on my posts and stuff, I get paid for that. So no, I'm not going to verify any information. Go dig and search. Do your research. Yeah, I, I do got to ask you one question. Were you drinking piss? Or, was was that real piss? Of course. Why not? Women squirt on men all the time, and it's normal. But I, re I was reading when we squirt that it's not piss. It's like a water. Like, I don't know. It's like water. So the only fluids that I've known to come out of a woman's vagina is her menstrual and piss. So... If men can drink piss, what's the difference between a woman drinking piss? So on your page, when you were sitting beside the toilet and it was pee going in a, in a toilet and the, you were acting as if you were catching the pee, that was real pee. Mm -hmm. Whose pee was it, child? <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends. He cool though. He's, he's gay, so it doesn't, it does, it's not like cheating if I had to do this. Oh, Lord Jesus. A gay man's piss? Yes. Oh my god. I would god. be a thought if it was a straight man. Then he would have thought like I was gonna like uh uh after. So it's like I had to find someone that didn't want to uh uh after. So it was just like, hey, I need this to go. You know, if I would have asked a straight man, he would he would have wanted like that, and I didn't feel like doing that that day. So I asked one of my gay friends, and he 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 helped me out. I don't even want to drink no more. <laughs> y'all don't even know what y'all are what do you think so what is okay and all right before and all right before we go watch this interview in, in 20 minutes on on my youtube channel and while with tasha k what does piss taste like it tastes like liquor it didn't taste good wine doesn't taste good liquor don't taste what? good uh, 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 wine tastes amazing honey not to me None of that shit tastes good. I don't even like water. I just started drinking water. Water don't taste good. Where's her parents? Say it. She talked to, you talked about where your parents were in the interview. So, I mean, that is the main question. It's like, what is your mama going to say when she... What does your mama say about your content? Like, did she watch the piss video? Did she say, baby, you, you can't kiss her in the mouth no more? Or you can't kiss her when you see her? My whole family follows me on social media. They don't say anything. So, you know, I'm just a loose cannon. You can't tell me anything. So I, I'm an adult. So. Okay. Um, interesting. So, after you left the interview, what were your thoughts? Because I didn't talk to you after you left. After the interview, I did listen to what you said um, with, um, you know, just like HPV and having raw sex. And I was like, let me, I, on my way home, I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And I'm like, she's right. I could wake up one day and just be like sick. Um, and then when I got home, I hit up one of my homeboys and I, I told him about the interview. I'm like, damn, I cried. And I don't cry on camera. That was my first time crying. He was like, oh, it's, it's cool. It's cool. And then I went up there and I told him, I'm like, you know, she was telling me about, like, if you have, like, raw sex, how, you know, you could wake up years later and have something. And then he was like, look, that's okay, too. So we raw dogged that. We raw dogged that night, too, even not that you said that. But, um... Yeah, a, a lot of a lot of things with me just goes in one ear and out the other, and I have to, I guess, figure out on my own. So, I have a trip to Dubai tomorrow, and um, I have a sugar daddy that wants to give me a golden shower. So I'm going to have fun with that and just watch my life just burn in flames. So you gonna go to Dubai tomorrow, and you gonna let this man raw dog you and pee on you? Yes. How much is he paying you? <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't like I got offered 30,000, but um 
I don't know. That's like I've I've had a golden shower before. That's how I got on. But please tell me ain't nobody shitting on you. No, 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 no. I don't even know how much I would charge for that if I if I did allow that. But I gotta make a price list tonight. Yeah, I gotta make a price list. Like you see, I'm over here packing, you know, getting my stuff together. How long are you gonna be in Dubai? Just a few days. And is he a sheik? Huh? Is the client a sheik? A sheik? Yeah, is he like is is he like from Dubai? Yeah. Okay. And he he contacted you through Instagram? No, I've been in Dubai before. Okay, so you have clients over there already. Yeah, I have clients already, so it's just like, you know. So those are some of the billionaires you were talking about. Oh yeah. And so they don't have to pay you. You're just willing to do it. Right. But it's like, he always like, hey, I'll give you 30000 And I'm like, I'm going to feel like a prostitute if I take your money. And I'm not a prostitute. 